Hi everyone, this is Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have been MIA for a while uh, because I had crafting table issues. I had memory issues on my phone and now I have uh, tripod issues <laughs> because I just broke this when I tried to fix it. So that being said, I am going to try to do this video showing you my, uh, I made a fireworks binder page. The theme was fireworks, but I really didn't have much in the way of fireworks. So I did the red, white, and blue 4th of July America theme. And I'm going to try to not shake this camera as much as I possibly can. So, I didn't have any 4th of July paper. I used this from an old paper pack, and I got some stickers, and I had some, I made some rosettes, and those things on the top, those are, I included some in the back, but they are the picks, like the uh, holiday picks. So, uh, this is how I decorated I used a lot of the stickers and I decorated the rosette with the stickers. Um, I made these flowers. I had put um, a wreath on my door and I used some. I got some really pretty uh, 4th of July red, white, and blue flowers. So these were extra. So I just pulled them apart because I had different ones. And so it was red, white. The, red, the blue and the white have glitter, but the red one was like a big like a big peony type flower so I ended up taking that apart I cut the flower the petals down because they were really big and then I just uh, put them together on um, like a a little circle of uh, cardstock and I hot glued them all together and I put this big gemstone in the middle because I have a lot of these not a lot but a few of these few big gemstones and I really don't use them for anything so it was good to use those for that I put a shaker in the middle, and the uh, it said shaker sparkler, so uh, what I did was on this, um, I followed the advice of my friend Lori from PewDiePie Designs, and I added my sequin mix, and then um, I didn't use washi tape though, I just, I just put a piece of scotch tape along the top, and I had this little Freedom came in one of the packs with all the stickers so I added that and another one and they kind of just follow the same theme I added um, I had some red white and blue not white but red and blue hearts I added those this is um, vintage trim from like the 70s and oops sorry about that I just have to take a quick drink of water and that's that this is how I roll apparently so I had um, found some vintage, this vintage pom-pom trim. I got it in that like um, avocado green, that orange, and then there was red, white, and blue, which was awesome. So I added that to the bottom, and I will show you the back where I added well, some goodies. The top goodies keep sliding out, but... I just added these and I added those little balls which they seem to be traveling somehow but I added some of those picks for I added the blue and the red um, I added some red hearts and blue hearts some of the some die cuts that came in that and um, some of the stickers and then what I did was um, I was at Michael's like before 4th of July and they had this pack of ribbon that I just absolutely loved the variety in the pack it was all red white and blue it was all different all different kinds and I added this to go with the pom-pom at the bottom but this is basically the the variety of ribbons that you got in that pack and it was half off so I got it for like five bucks there's so much of it is just so much of it and I just love all these little bitty ones so I made a tassel and I thought that came out really cute 
There's a little some sparkly ribbon. Yeah, there's just a whole bunch of different stuff in here. It's awesome. So I've made this really cute little uh, tassel to go on with this. Uh, firecracker theme uh, binder page. So I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of it before I send it out. And I hope you like this video. Stay tuned for another one. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.